All right, hi everyone. This is Mommy Ann and the Wilsons on the go. I am about to look into another reaction video, and this time, this is an international sensation YouTuber and Facebooker, Facebooker, Nas and Casey. They are. I actually watch them all the time, and when I saw Casey and Nas Facebook updates, I was just like, this must be something good, and it's titled "Be Different." So let's see what we can learn from this and I will also give up my give my feedback after this one. So let's see. It's entitled Be Different. This story is about me and Casey. But by the end of it, it's a story about you. Two years ago, I was sitting at my laptop with no job or clue, watching Casey Neistat videos on YouTube, thinking to myself, damn. This guy is successful. Yeah. And I wish yeah. I wished to be him. Oh, who is And to right? be him, I wanted his glasses. I wanted his <laughs> office. I wanted his blogs. I wanted his style. Cool. Do what yeah. you can't. Do what you can. Encapsulate everything I've ever done. Mm. <laughs> Got it. I wanted his life because the only way to get success was to copy him. And I'm not the only one who thinks like this. My friends feel like they have to be doctors because their parents are doctors. Other friends feel like they have to be lawyers because their friends are lawyers. We look at successful people and we say, it worked for you, it'll work for me. Despite who we are, we want to be someone else. else. See, as much as I wanted his success, we are different. Correct. I'm That's Rosario right. Yassin. And I'm Casey Neistat. I make videos on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I make videos on YouTube. Yeah, I yeah. make one minute videos in length. My videos are like 10 minutes long. I'm right. based nowhere. Yeah. Uh, I'm based right here in New York City. I have a girlfriend and a fox. And I have a <laughs> wife and two kids. Aww, I don't so run. I run every single day. Mm -hmm. And even my hair is dark and his hair well, actually, no, this isn't is realistic. I could never be Casey, That's and right. I could never be Nas. It's infuriating. The shot isn't even. Cool. <laughs> you guys do your thing. That's wait, right. Wait, 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 it's like, that's not it's him. Not My shots are not level. It's not level. It's Wrong. huge. <laughs> it's yellow, not green. It's like very tiny. It's a tiny thing. Now it's level. This story is not about us. It's about you. Right. Forget it's Casey. Nice. Forget me. Forget the video. If it wasn't obvious by now, the road to success is not one road. It's an infinite number of roads. There are a million ways to be successful in your own way. Right. You don't need to copy your parents or your friends or your role models. Yeah. You don't need to be a Casey. You don't need to be a Nas. You don't need to be a banker or a doctor or anything else. That's not who you really are. You don't need to be like anyone else. All you need is authenticity, a little hard work, and consistency. But most importantly, you just have to be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. That's the message. That was nice. Um, that was a very good video, very inspiring video. I have a couple of points. I know I did not write it down, but um, the title of the video says be different. So I guess I just have to look back into me being different and I'm just going to look back into myself. Um, funny enough, I will be celebrating my <laughs> three decades and a half birthday. And this is a very good reflection of what I have been in this earth. Like successful wise and being different wise. So I guess I have to go back to being a, shall I say, a, a little girl. Um... The whole entirety of being general as a successful woman, as a successful person. I should say I am not and nobody is 100% successful. But in terms of lifestyle and in terms of way and mode of living, I should say um, not comparing to anybody and not even, you know, dragging and bragging about myself. I should say I am... I am way better than, I'm way better than 
in terms of financial living and living here in America, I should say I have helped other people and my family. So that's where my success goes and that's where I would gauge my success. So back in the Philippines, let's just turn back time 30 years ago, 20 years ago, my parents, my family, we are not rich at all. We are very poor. And I remember my mom and my dad has worked very hard. My dad has worked very hard just for us to make a living. And when I was growing up in high school, my aunt has to help me go to high school as well as in college. Now that's a different story. So when I see that, when I recall, I should say I had a very good role model, which is my aunt. Mommy Addie, how are you? I'm gonna tag you in this video. Mommy Addie lives in, Amer in, in Australia and she is the most genuine and very generous aunt and a person that I know um, she just she's just I don't want to be emotional but she's just very selfless and um, she have she had helped me along the way and um, she had helped me in college and when I graduated she helped me go to Australia to explore the world and she paid for all that and that made me realize also that um, Maybe going out of the country, maybe going out of America or going out of the Philippines will help me as well as my family since my aunt has been helping us. So she's my role model. And based from the video of Nas and Casey also, I tried to be like her, but I know I could never be her. So to continue that part of the story, I look back on being a teacher also. So when I, when I was in college, I also met this very important person in my life which is also I consider the role model um her name is Miss Olive and I'm gonna link her also to this or tag her in this um video Miss Olive was a very good role model to me for me I looked up into her when I was in college she was a very good professor she she was very open to us on how to be successful and how to view life and even saw something in me that I could be a, 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 a student leader. So I have also not traveled, but actually go, went to places when I was in college because of her, because she inspired me. So looking at that, she was my role model. She is my role model even until now. Miss Olive, thank you for everything. <laughs> thank you. But um, yeah, when back in the day when I was in college, I like to be like her. I want to be like her. Um, I want to wear what she was wearing because she was very popular in our college or in our, in our university. I wanted to, to explore the world like her. And so when I graduated college, she actually recommended me to the very first school that I taught, which she was, she also taught before. And, um, when she guided me, to get my master's so I can come here in the United States, I listened, I followed through, but that's how I get here too. I went through the process and all that stuff, so that's how I get here in America. And um, yeah, their life situation might have led us to a different scenario, so I said, yeah, I could, I could never be like her, of course, and we were two different people. So there were decisions that I made that she did not agree also plug in. Anyways, but um yeah, we were just different, but I should say in a manner that being professional I'm successful enough to say because I have in this job or profession that I have, I have helped my family. So there's the connection of my aunt being a role model, I want to be like her to help my family also. But in a professional sense, Miss Olive also helped me thought about things that, okay, I could not help my family when I am just in the Philippines because back then the salary of being a teacher in the Philippines would not be enough even for myself, how much more helping my family members. So when I got here in America, believe it or not, um, I have helped my, my, my siblings as well as my cousins to go to college. And for that, I should say, um, I consider myself blessed and successful enough since I have helped them. And I ha I'm still helping my family right now. So, 
that's it. And um, what else have I learned? Um, in th oh, going to the family side, connecting to the line of work I have right now. I am a special education teacher, and that made me really feel so blessed because in tough situations and in hard situations like last week, oh my gosh, I just don't know. Um, yeah, I might not be able to change or might not be able to make that big change in their life, but that makes me really think of how thankful and blessed I am that I have a healthy family, I have a healthy kids, and that my only gauge to be a successful mom for them is really when I, when they grow up and I, I would know that they, I have raised good kids that are God-fearing as well as um, they have a purpose in life and they, they are good citizens of this country and of this world. Yeah, and it's, it's hard to really look into successful parents because we have different we have different gauge of being successful now going to this reaction about nas and casey they are two different people and they just their message was very loud and clear that they just want us to be successful in our ways and being different so going back to um facebook and youtube those two people are different because the other one nas is very successful in facebook as well as casey is very successful in youtube so i have been in facebook for almost like 10 years now and that's a very good tool for me to communicate with my friends and families back in the philippines and i have known nas just very recently this um past year but when i went into the world of youtube that is when I knew this Casey and I was like, oh, what is he doing? Oh, he has a lot of followers. Oh, he's rich. Oh, he has a family, but he is really good. And um, it's too hard to follow this guy. We're two different people, way too opposite. But realizing that, my kids also watch a lot of videos. And two of the families that I really like also are... Um, the Ryan Story Review, that's a very cool family, as well as the um, Family Fun Pack. So I was like, oh, that gave me an idea. Maybe we will just name our, or make our, the theme of our YouTube page as a family thing. So I was trying to look into all the things that they have been doing, but it's hard to copy. I guess these families and parents don't work, and my husband and me work all the time, so there we could never be like them we could never be as successful as them but we're trying our best like we are just being different i guess whatever's happening like delaney's into gymnastics alex into sports and i am into makeup so we make stuff i guess for me not to so much to entertain them but for me this youtube page that i am making for my family is actually just an a memory in motion oh I like that memory in motion because I hope 10 years 20 years from now YouTube would still be up and we would still have our videos and our memories so I want to thank <laughs> this is this is my pre birthday video actually I am three decades and a half in a couple of days and I am just very thankful of the role models that I have the family that I have, the friends that I have around me, and the influence I have in Facebook and YouTube. And um, thank you all. Thank you all for contribu contributing to the success of, of, of myself, as well as our, my family, and as well as our YouTube page. So again, Nas and Casey, thank you so much for this video. And it says, in life, it is easy to lose your own identity and become something we are not. So just remember, be different, be successful in your own ways. Thank you so much for listening to me. Bye all, I love you. I miss my family back home. I hope to see you very, very soon. Just help me pray for that. And um, shout out to Mommy Addie, to Miss Olive. I miss my Lola, my mama. It's my birthday and I always get emotional when it's about to be my birthday because it has been almost nine years. No, ten years. The last birthday I celebrated in the Philippines was when I was 25. And I will be 35 in the coming days. And um, 
just miss them so much and um yeah thank you so much all i'm sorry i'm being emotional i'm trying to hold my um tears actually and i love you all my family here in america and my family the wilson's undergo thank you so much for making mommy whole i love you all bye remember everyone has a purpose bye